Okay, hello guys. So this is a little, uh, it's called Hello featuring Miss Al, new shoes. It's a freebie, it's only 155 KBS, uh, KBP, so kilobytes per second. So it's not the greatest tune, but you can have a little listen to it and see what you think. I've got this on 100% full blast. And, uh, Hello, are you the one that I've been looking for? I don't know. I'm just going to hold this up a little tiny bit, the microphone. Welcome to the night sky, we can pick them out like Even all the ones that they don't seem right Chalk it up to Mars Chalk it up to Mars Hello Are you the one that's on my frequency? I don't know But I kind of recognize the beat We can break it down, we can spin it around Chop it up, break it down Put it on repeat, put it on repeat. Mm. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to scrub that bit. I'm going to scrub that bit. I'm going to go for a. I'm not quite sure whether we're going to get into trouble with that. This one I know I won't get into trouble. And let me just have a little look. This is 206 kilobits. Now, really, what we want is a CD quality one, don't we? 360 or something. Uh, what's this? 184. I should have found an appropriate trim, but what I will do is, um, what I will do is, uh, I know I've got appropriate stuff. 217 kilobits. This might be as good as we get, actually. So let's try this then. Uh, so the audio player there, as you can see, is on 100%, top left-hand side for the output. We're on the headphone, and on the, here, I'm just gonna zoom in. You can see where my little dial thing is. If I just turn that off, you can see where that is. That's off. Turn it on. I'm gonna put it up about to about to just over, let's say, uh, you know, that already started off around about there. So it's already on a little tiny portion. And if I can get this to go back to where it was, hopefully. Nope. Oh, this is fun. I had to play back. It'd be nice if I knew how to work this, wouldn't it? Here we go. <coughs> Hold the microphone up slightly closer, uh, not closer, but just higher the speakers. I'm just going to say it's not about the loudness because look, I'll do. That I'm holding the thing in my hand the same place, so I'll just turn it up a little bit more. All right, it's, it's not about the loudness. We can get the loudness. I know that my music player doesn't distort at 100% going into this. It's about what's it sound like. No, no, no. 
what I'm going to do now. I don't want to touch the volume control. Let me just press that. I don't want to touch the volume control, right? So what I want to do now is I'm just going to unplug that. I'm going to turn off the speaker on, on that side and we're going to swap these tubes out because I want you to hear the difference um, with these different tubes in. So let me just gently ease those hot tubes out. Uh, there we go. I'm going to put these ones in. Uh, what I want you to hopefully be able to hear now here is the difference and we'll carry on with the same song you were just listening to or the same tune, whatever you want to call it and then we'll go back to that first one alright so I'm just going to plug this back in now so it stays on at the same volume I'll see you again how it's warming up from 7.7 .7 watts I'm going to put those on now for the output there and then turn the player back on again. Uh, so this is all exactly the same volume than what it was. Uh, I think that just, I think that just got through to the end actually. Let's do that one again. Oh, and if I just hold this back up where I had it before. See it going into the red. I'm going to back the volume down. So it's not going into the red. I'm pretty sure you should have been able to hear the difference with that and the other one. If I go back to that other one that I had, uh, which one was it? It was this one, wasn't it? Turn it up a little time right now. Guys, I think that's all we need to demonstrate really, it's been plenty of time. Um, it sounds really nice, it sounds nicer with the GE stuff in there, GE tubes. Um, and it's going through this little uh, this little uh, class A, B here. So we're going class A from this, which is why we're staying on the same power, we're using the same power. But when we go through the class A, B, of course, you would have noticed before on the power supply, the uh, power lines go up and down in the current that they're using. Um, depends how much work it's doing. I'll give a little demonstration of that now. As you can see, it's gone up now on the current. But that sounds like it's probably going to be well, well oversaturating. So there we go, that's that. 
I think it sounds quite nice. I suppose I have to do a lot of listening. Yesterday I did quite a bit of listening and I thought that he had some fading somewhere. It seemed like in the, some of the vocals didn't seem to be as precise. Uh, but then when you think that you can get one of these with the GE tubes as well, and they have matched them quite well. I mean, they're pretty equal uh, when we look at it on the scope. For less than 20 pounds, probably less than 20 dollars as well, you can buy this setup and all you've got to do is give it a, a power supply of a battery if you want it nice and clean. Ensure that you've got shielded cables for your input uh, the decent music player in the first place. Remember, it's all about the source. You put rubbish in, you get rubbish out. Your amplifier just amplifies whatever you put in. All right, you gotta look at it like that. Uh, well, that's, that's all right. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. If you got this far, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.